The effects of the drought we had this year are causing the farmers and ranchers to take desperate measures just to stay afloat. It's one of those things where it's feast or famine. Congressman Frank Lucas says some of his constituents have told him they had to cut back on the number of cattle they own because they can't afford to feed them. And the problem is reaching historic levels. My family's been in uh, Roger Mills County since 1900. Uh, they survived the Dust Bowl and the economic depression of the 30s. My parents survived the drought of the 50s. I went through the drought at the beginning of the last decade. We just live in a challenging place on the east side of the Rockies in the southern plains. He says many farmers and ranchers are becoming more dependent on trucking in hay, and those costs are rising. You can't feed them everything they eat in the dry lot the whole year. That's why you see cow herds getting smaller. If you go to the sale barns for the last six months, there's been a huge run on cows. When the weather patterns change, I would predict for you the reduction in the supply of mama cows will lead to dramatically higher live cattle prices and beef prices come next year. The higher sale prices will help ranchers who have survived the drought, but they'll still need some help. Congressman Lucas highlights dozens of programs in the federal farm bill that are already available to farmers and ranchers. The drought we're dealing with is unprecedented, and you throw on top of that the dramatic increase in input cost, call it inflation, call it the effects of the Ukrainian war if you want to, but fertilizer is not just higher than it was a year ago, it's several times higher than it was a year ago. He's working to make sure the farm bill remains in place as a financial safety net.